Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ETL Hub. In previous video, we learnt about creating a service connector to fetch bookstore API book details. And also on top of that, we have created app connector. In this video, we will create a process where we will pass ISBN number as an input to the process. And when the process is triggered, it will get the bookstore book uh, details from the bookstore API and fetch the following values ISBN title, page, and website. Let's create the process. Click on this new icon, select process, click on the create button. In start properties, name the process. In start section, binding will be rest so allowed user will be your ISCS user. We will run it on the cloud server. In input field section, we will declare the request fields that will be as a that will be input to our process. Through this field, we will pass the ISBN number in Postman. In output field section, declare the fields which will be the response of the process. In advanced section, make tracing label as verbose. Save the changes. To call the app connector, which was built on the on top of service connector, go to the design panel, select service step, and drag between start and end. Give the name to the service step. In services, select the service type as connection. Click on the select icon. So this is the app connector which was created previously. Select that one. Select the action. So when you select the action, all the fields which we uh, declared in our service connector will be displayed. So we declare input field as in ISBN and these were the output fields, ISBN title website page. So if you check over here in our service connector, so this is the output fields. These are the output fields, ISBN title website page and this is our input field in ISBN. So these will get displayed in this service step. In input field, map it using fields. So this is in ISBN coming from field input. Click on this. So whatever the value we will pass from the process, it will get mapped to this service connectors input. Click on save. Add an assignment task next to the service step. Name this assignment task. So here, when the response is successful, the output that we get from the service, from that API, we will pass it to our output fields. So go to the assignment tab. Click on the plus icon. Select all those output fields. You can click on auto map. So automatically the fields will be mapped. So it is mostly a smart mapping of the field names. So click on save. Click on publish. Take the endpoint URL. Go to the postman. The method will be post. Go to the body section and pass the book details.
Select the raw section for that. Now send the request. Okay. So that means I have not given the credential. So I am receiving this error as unauthorized. So go to the authorized section. Click on the basic auth. And now again send the request. See the output is here as expected. In upcoming topics, we will extend this process to get the data from API and store into our Oracle database table in application integration. For that, there will be additional 2-3 videos in which first we will create a connection to Oracle database. In second, we will try to fetch the data from API and insert that book details into our table and in third, we will try to have an additional table where we will try to log the error in case the response is not successful from API. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thanks.